Hey guys, it's Stacey. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be all about prayer and how to incorporate prayer into your everyday life. And I'm going to be sharing with you five things that have generally helped me a lot in my prayer life and that I hope will help you in your prayer life as well. So let's just get straight into the video. So we all know the well-known verse in 1 Thessalonians 5.17 that says, Pray without ceasing, be unceasing and persistent in prayer. But what does this actually mean? Because it can be confusing to understand what God means by telling us to be praying always. Let's start off with what it doesn't mean. For one, it does not mean to be 24-7 on our knees because that is impossible and that is obviously not practical. But God intends for us to be constantly in communion with him and constantly talking to him, not only when we have problems. Sometimes we can fall into the enemy's trap of just talking to God, just praying only when we have problems and when we are asking something from him. This is not a true relationship with God if we're only coming to him when we need something because can you imagine having a friend that only came to you when they needed something from you? Obviously that would not really be a real friend to you. So that is what this verse is all about and prayer should not be something that we just do in our quiet times or when we wake up in the morning but it should be incorporated into every single area of our lives and every single activity of our lives. So we can end up forming such a habit of prayer that you wake up in the morning talking to God, that you fall asleep at night talking to God, and that you wake up in the middle of the night still talking to God. And I've learned to start my day with prayer and just keep praying and talking to God all day. When I'm stressed, I pray. When I see someone hurting, I pray. When I just feel the urge to pray about something, I pray. And that is how you can incorporate prayer into your everyday life. And prayer is simply just a conversation with God. Do not overcomplicate it. You do not need any fancy words. You just need to talk to God like you talk to a friend. And that is the kind of prayer that God wants the most, not a prayer that is all put together and sounds perfect because God wants you to be honest with him and not put a face up. So praying without ceasing means being aware of God's continual presence and acknowledging him in every single thing we do. If you are constantly aware of God's presence, then when you are tempted to do something wrong, you will be aware that God is there with you and you won't. So this is what helps a lot. Being aware of God's presence constantly will help you a lot with that. So moving on to the five things that personally helped me a lot in my prayer life. The first thing was to start a prayer journal and I love doing this. It's helped me so much. So basically what you do is get a journal and write down all your prayers and everything that's on your mind on it and this is what has helped me a lot like just being able to be honest with myself and pour out all my feelings and emotions in there and sometimes when I'm stressed it can help me a lot just writing everything down and just basically ranting out all my feelings and everything and I really recommend that especially if you're starting out your prayer life because that is what helped me a lot as well and I think it's just a simple thing that you can do that will end up helping you so much and it helped me like be honest with myself because I think that when you write things down it helps you like recognize these feelings and emotions that you may be having and helps you be honest with yourself and be able to pray about it and deal with whatever you're going through. The second thing that's helped me a lot is going on prayer walks and if you know me you know that I love going on walks especially with this lockdown. I've gone on like so many this month and I think this has helped me a lot in my prayer life just going out in nature and I won't be like distracted by my phone or anything and then just praying and then also you can look at God's creation around you which I think makes it so much more beautiful and so much more refreshing as well because going on walks is so refreshing and usually when I go on walks I'm more focused on like thanksgiving rather than like giving God my request if that makes sense because I don't know I just feel like being in God's presence being on God's nature just makes me feel his presence a lot more and I just feel like thanking him a lot more than asking for things the third thing that has helped me is making a plan for my prayer time so basically every week you can set out a list of like prayer requests for every single day that you want to have so for example you can have monday you're praying for your schoolwork tuesday you're praying for your friend thursday you're praying for your family members and so on and i think that this can make it a lot more helpful for you especially when you're praying and you have no idea what to say then you can look back at these plan that you set out for yourself and you can pray based on what you've planned out for the week and i also think that this will help you not forget your prayer request so that you can remember to pray for every single thing that you need to pray for 
the fourth thing that has helped me so so much is talking to god about my day in the evening so a lot of the time i just lie in bed and just start having a conversation with god about my day and i think this helps me a lot when i started out my prayer life because i kind of took away the idea that god was just a man up in heaven i kind of connected with god on a more personal level as i could just lie down and talk to god as if i was talking to my best friend and i think this really helped me a lot like get to know god more and just speaking to him about my day and ranting to him and telling him about things that i was really mad at thanking him for things that happened in my day and telling him about things i wasn't too happy about and embarrassing things that have happened to me and i guess it really helped me a lot in my prayer life and i really recommend that you do this because it helped me so so much the fifth thing that I would recommend is writing three things that you're thankful for in the morning. So as soon as you wake up in the morning, you can have a journal underneath your pillow and you can just take it out and write down three things that you're thankful for. And this will help you, especially if you're one of those grudgy moods in the morning, like how I am mostly in. And it helps you just to think about the positives rather than the negatives. So that when I'm awake in the morning, the first thing that I can think of is those three things to be thankful for. And one of the things I like about this is that it's not very time consuming at all since it literally just takes like less than five minutes to write down three things you're thankful for and you can either make it more general like uh, my family my home my friends or you can make it more specific and go into more details which i've started to do now and i think it's like a good way to start your day out so that you're in a good mood already because you can focus on these three things to be thankful for rather than all the negatives so that is the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe i'm so thankful for all of you guys who have been supporting me and everything so yeah thank you so much for watching this video god bless and goodbye